Hi everyone, Perry Morrison from Suzuki Australia's Motorcycle Division. I'm here at the 2012 Australian Motorcycle Expo and with me is three times Australian Superbike Champion, Sean Giles. And Gilesy, at the show today we have a, a huge range of new Suzuki motorcycles and uh, we'd like to spend a few minutes just talking about them. Kicking off with the all new 2013 Boulevard C90T. A fantastic looking new model, all in black and for the first time factory fitted panniers and screen. You've had a chance to have a look at it and tell me your impression. Yeah, it certainly is a great motorcycle and uh, well worth coming down here and checking out the new models and particularly the uh, new C90T. Um, you know, coming with the saddlebags and the windscreen um, and all in black, it, it looks really good. The all new C90T available January next year, so uh, don't miss out, go and see your local Suzuki dealer today. Sean, you spotted the 2013 Boulevard M109RZ in the all new special red, hot red colour scheme. Unbelievable, I've actually uh, had a M109R in black and uh, tricked it up a little bit, put a different exhaust on it and um, colour coded you know, for, forks and stuff like that, but this new red one, unbelievable look and uh, you've got to come down and check it out. It's, uh, you know, as soon as I saw it I thought, man, I've got to get one of these. So, uh, Apart from the great new colour scheme, you're obviously a fan of this huge 1800cc V-twin engine. Definitely, um, you know, the performance it puts out is uh, unbelievable. Uh, and you pull up at the lights and people are sort of hanging out of the car looking to see what the bike is and uh, you know, when they see it's a Suzuki Boulevard they can't believe Suzuki can make such a, an awesome looking motorcycle so uh, well worthwhile coming down here and getting into your local Suzuki dealer and test riding one and uh, riding away on one. Bike Rolls from Suzuki, the all new brand new Inazuma 250 road bike. Fantastic little machine, parallel twin cylinder four stroke engine, fuel injected, great new styling and just on the market a matter of days ago. Yeah, it's uh, great to have a, a good good commuter like this and um, you know, being fuel injected, it's uh, fantastic uh, good, good fuel economy and, and stuff like that, so you know, great for a learner to uh, learn all about riding a motorcycle and uh, you know, hopefully you can get into your local Suzuki dealer or come down here to the, the motorcycle show and uh, have a look and we can give you some brochures on the road. The old new Suzuki Inazuma 250 See, this truly is the most iconic sports bike in my view in the Australian motorcycle market and also globally, uh, the Suzuki Hayabusa. Uh, since its introduction it's just uh, set the standard for hyper performance and for the first time uh, on display here today at the Australian Motorcycle Expo, the all new 2013 Hayabusa, stunning yellow colour scheme but also, for the first time, ABS brakes. It certainly has ABS brakes and uh, the new Brembo calipers on it. Um, unbelievable. It, you know, the Hayabusa has uh, got a fond uh, feeling in my heart because I've uh, actually raced one for Yoshimura when they first came out and was uh, at the first uh, launch here in Australia where we uh, ran at Avalon Airport there and uh, ran some high speeds on it. So uh, the new uh, Hayabusa, certainly unbelievable motorcycle and great colour scheme here in the yellow. Uh, with ABS, uh, fantastic. Gilesy, the G6R Legends started way back in 1985 and it's incredible to think that uh, our Suzuki factory has now built over one million examples of this incredible sports bike. And of course this is the bike that you earned your reputation on winning three Australian Superbike Championships and so many races uh, here in Australia and in other parts of the world. So this must just feel like home for you to sit on this special commemorative edition 1 million G6R1000. It certainly does, Perry, and uh, when I first saw it um, at the uh, MotoGP round or pitches on the net, I just fell in love with it because, um, you know, the, 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 the paint scheme and, um, you know, the limited edition park here on the Triple Clan, fantastic. And uh, anyone that loves GSXRs, you got to come and have a look at it. And, um, you know, there's only 100 here in Australia to be sold, so uh, you've got to snap it up real quick. And uh, definitely GSXR 1000, to me, is um, very passionate with me. And I've got one I ride on the road and, and go and do track days on. So if you want a good bike, get down to your local system deal and get one of these on millionth edition GSXR 1000. Yeah, it's a great machine and I think the, the Suzuki engineers and designers have done a brilliant job in capturing 
all of that heritage feel in the early G6R colour schemes and, and the look and the feel, but also wrapping it in the latest technology G6R 1000. Phenomenal performance, uh, amazing handling characteristics, but done in a, a beautiful theme to commemorate one million G6R 1000. Certainly is, and uh, you know, every time I rode a new uh, era of the GSXR 1000, uh, every year they brought a new model out. Um, I couldn't believe that the R&B guys did such an unbelievable job and gave it, gave us that more performance that we needed to go out there and win races and own the race track. And um, you know, the latest model is no no different with Josh Waters going out and winning the uh, championship this year in Australia. The bike's due in uh, January next year, and as you said, there's only 100 limited edition models coming into the Australian market and only 1,985 being manufactured for the entire world market to commemorate 1985 when the entire GSR legend began. So uh, it certainly is limited and uh, I think that there will be a long queue of eager GSR customers waiting to try and get their hands on it. For sure.